What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome your faces to a new video today. Now today I am doing a video that has been highly requested for a lot of you guys. Um, I did do a setup tour not long ago. Well, actually it's probably been it's probably been quite a while, I'm gonna be honest with you. But my setup hasn't really changed that much. That's why I haven't made another video. But you guys really want an updated one. I have changed a little things, a little, uh, little things here and there over the past year. So today I wanted to do a new setup tour and show you guys everything that is in my setup link it all so if anything you guys want to pick up and do yourself you can do now i also have a few videos on the channel for example i have a video about those sound panels in the back like the diamond shaped ones i actually have a dedicated video on those so if you want to check that out i'll link that down below um, and everything in the video will be linked down below as well. So make sure to click that link if you're interested in anything. But I thought with, you know, Christmas coming up so soon, it's going to be here before we know it. You know, the holidays, Black Friday, all that stuff coming up so soon. I wanted to go ahead and get this video out for you guys. So without further ado, there's a lot to get to and I'm also gonna do kind of a room tour and show you guys everything that's in this room as well. This isn't like my bedroom, this is my dedicated video and gaming room. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, my setup first and then I'll show you guys sort of around the room and some things that I have. So. So first, ladies and gentlemen, this is my Respawn Spectre gaming chair. I do have a full unboxing and setup video on it if you guys want to check it out. I did get sponsored by them recently. I haven't really been sponsored by a chair company in a while, but I decided to partner with them since they were working with G Fuel, and I work with G Fuel a lot. So they actually sent this one out to me. I unboxed it and everything. If you guys want to watch that, I'll link that down below, and I'll link their website down below if you want to pick this one up, and you can use code CHOCK for a discount on this. So the desk that I am using is called the Monarch Specialties Computer Desk. Uh, it is the cement look one, and it is a 70 inch desk. I originally got it on Amazon. Um, it is an amazing desk, and it has a great modern look, and I love the white slash gray. It goes so well with the setup. Now, in terms of my monitors, I have three. I've got one, two, three of these curved Scepter monitors. These are 144 hertz. They're just 1080p. Um, I love them. I don't see the need for 4K yet. Maybe I will in the future if I use a 4k monitor and see how good it is but i have yet to use one and notice how good it is now next up is my microphone back there that is the hyper x quadcast srgb absolutely love it i used to have a like a 10 year old audio technica um and it was amazing but it just didn't go with the setup and the look and uh the sound quality for me i've noticed it to be just as good even if there's a little difference, I think I do prefer the looks over that tiny bit of quality increase that the Audio Technica did have. Now to actually mount the monitors, I am actually using a Respawn, the chair company, that same chair company released monitor arms and I was able to use those for both of my monitors. So I'm actually using the Respawn dual monitor mount. So I will link that down below as well. And you guys can use code CHOCK a discount on that if you just uh, decide to pick those up now in terms of those uh 3d panels that i was talking about those diamond shaped ones those are the art 3d decorative 3d wall panels in diamond they're the 12 by 12 inches in the matte white uh i think i ordered like oh my gosh i don't even remember i think i ordered i don't know i just measured the square feet of the wall and what i needed to cover i'm covering like from way over here all the way around and only to up there i'm not going all the way to the ceiling but it, i think it ended up being like 120 bucks to cover the whole background and it just makes the world of a difference especially with those rgb lights that i'm using and speaking of RGB lights, I'm just using a simple uh, clip-on lamp for those RGB lights you're seeing back there um, with a RGB, um, just a RGB bulb off of Amazon. I'm not using like the uh, Hue expensive bulbs. I'm just using some cheap ones and they have worked great for over a year now. So in terms of lighting for those, I'm using two RGB lamps 
Uh, it's kind of like, I think it's a gooseneck lamp where you can move it all around and it just clips onto the back of the desk. So I got one there and then over here I have another one. And then on the edge of the desk and on the bottom, I just have a simple RGB uh, stick on light strip. That's all I'm using for the back of the desk and under the desk. Um, and that I usually keep in like a light blue color as you can see right now. Now, this is something that I get a lot of questions about, my little pixel thing there. So that is actually called the Devoom Pixo Pixel Art Digital Pixel Frame. This is the 16 by 16 inch one. It's app controlled, absolutely amazing. I really, really love it. Now that right there, obviously I'll link it down below. It's just a RGB cube, really simple, and it does the job to make the setup look really, really cool. Now, in terms of all of my uh, stuff like keyboards, mouse, so in terms of my keyboard, I'm using the Steel Series Apex 7 TKL Ghost. Uh, it is the white edition, and I have a video on that, a dedicated one, I'll link that down below. And then I'm using the Steel Series Aerox 3 wireless uh, mouse, and that is also the Ghost edition. And then in terms of my headset, I am using the Artex Pro wireless headset in black. I really, really want it in white, so hopefully I'll get a white one soon to complete the setup. But I do have a mod kit on that. I have some different ear muffs on that um, to basically, or some ear cups, because my ears were too big for the headset, so I had to get some different ear cups. And I have a video dedicated to that. Link that, I'll link that down below as well, how I got those ear cups and everything and where I got them from and the mod kit. I'll put that video linked down below as well. And then I do have a few Elgato products. I have a Elgato mini uh, stream deck and then I have a Elgato extra large stream deck. And then I also use the Elgato ring light for when I do do some YouTube streams or other streams. Um, and then also the other Elgato products that I use is a, I have a Elgato 1080p and a 4K uh, PCI game capture. So it actually goes into my stream computer. So that's all of the Elgato products that I have and I will link those down below as well. Now, since we're finally getting into that PC talk, let's go ahead and talk about computers. So, there is my computer down there. That is the gaming and rendering and editing computer. And when I do stream, that computer sends a HDMI video over to my stream computer um, and that's what I stream on. So I don't actually stream on this computer. Uh, I decided that doing a stream PC is a, or a dual PC setup is much better than putting the load even on a super expensive one PC, just because in the long run, my gaming PC is always perfect every time I stream and I don't have to worry about lag or anything like that. And I absolutely love it. So I would highly recommend a dual PC setup. Now, in terms of what I'm running in the gaming PC, I am, I just actually upgraded it. And if you guys wanna check out that uh, stream where I did upgrade my gaming PC, I'll link that down below. But in my gaming PC and my rendering PC, I am running the EVGA RTX 3080 Ti. I finally got my hands on one. 30, 3080 Ti, it's like the For the Win 3 Ultra or something. And then I'm running 64 gigs of DDR4 at 4,000 megahertz. I could only get it to run at like 3,900 megahertz, but it's good enough. My motherboard was having issues or something. And then uh, in terms of my CPU, I have the Ryzen 9 5950X. Uh, it, as a CPU. And then in terms of my cooler and power supply and extra doodads like that, don't worry, I'll link that all those little things down below in the, in the link down below. So uh, I don't feel like it's worth it to mention all those little things, but those will be linked down below as well as the case. I'm just using a H, uh, a, 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 I'm just using like a NZXT H, 710i case or something. It's the one with the RGB, but I'll link more specifics about my gaming PC down below. Whew, all this information is making my brain literally fry. I will also link all the specs of my stream PC down below as well. So if you wanna check out the specs of the stream PC, I'll link that down below too. 
Now, in terms of my mouse pad, I am using a mouse pad just from Amazon. It's just like this awesome white and black sort of gold mouse pad. I absolutely love it. Um, it goes so much better with the setup rather than a black mouse pad. Uh, it just makes the setup sort of flow better with that white mouse pad. And I'll link that one down below as well. I just got that one on Amazon. I'm also using a stand for the gaming computer. Uh, so I've got like this glass stand to keep the gaming computer raised up a little bit. I'll link that down below as well. And then this is something that I get a lot of questions about, my neon sign. So in terms of my neon sign, I actually got that custom made on Etsy. I will try to link the original person that made it down below in the, descri in the description. Uh, I think it was about two to three hundred dollars for that one. And I'm pretty sure the size is like 12 by 25 inches or something. It's not a big one. Just be wary. As soon as you start to get big with those LED neon signs, and you want multiple colors, the price is going to skyrocket. So if I would recommend a neon sign, try to keep it to one color and try to keep it under like 12 by 35 inches or something. Cause as soon as you get bigger than that, it's just gonna cost a lot. Now, another thing, I know there's gonna be people that are gonna ask about this. So in terms of my carpet, uh, I will link my carpet down below as well. I'm pretty sure I got it on Wayfair or something like that, but I will link the carpet down below as well. Now, another thing that you guys might be wondering is my G Fuel fridge. G Fuel sent that out to me. It's not really something you can buy. Also that right there, I will link that down below as well. This is a little thing where you can like type letters and stuff. You can't type, it's actually a physical little letter you have to put in and move, uh, but I'll link that down below as well. Now, in terms of my camera equipment, I am using these two lights here. These are amazing. Absolutely love these lights. These are great. Uh, they're RGB. So I can literally change them from cold to warm to blue to any color that I want. And that's why I really love these. And they're plastic, so they can't break. Um, I didn't really like the ring light. It made like little rings in my glasses and stuff. So these work really well. Uh, so I will link these lights down below. And then my tripod, I'll link that down below as well. And my camera is the Sony a6400. I'm using the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 aperture lens and and then I'm using a Rode Pro microphone and a Feel World uh, screen. So that's what I actually view, that's what I'm able to view myself in. So I have an external monitor on top of my camera as well. So I'll link all the camera equipment and everything down below as well. Now also in terms of my router and modem, I will link that stuff down below as well if you guys are interested in any of my internet equipment that I'm using. Uh, in terms of my internet speed, I am using Xfinity. I wish I could get uh, I wish I could get a different service that was one gig up, one gig down. But right now I'm using Xfinity in their gig plan. It's about $70 a month um, and I get 1000 megabytes. I actually get more like 1400 megabytes download, uh, but my PC really isn't compatible for more than that at the moment. Or no, my router actually isn't compatible for more than a gig. But uh, I do have Xfinity one gig down and I get like 40, 50 upload, which isn't bad. It handles my streaming and I stream at like 25,000 bit rate on YouTube. I stream at 2K quality, so it's a little ridiculous, but I'm able to do it. So I wanna, you know, put out the quality. So that's what I'm running for my internet. So if we actually walk a little bit towards over here in the room, you will notice that I have two tripods connected to a camera slider. So I actually use this camera slider and these tripods, I'll link them down below, of course. Uh, I use those basically when I'm making B-roll, like if I'm doing a G Fuel video where I need B-roll of a tub and I need the camera to slowly move forward, that is one thing that I use. Absolutely love that and then I would highly recommend it. 
Now I also, in terms of camera equipment, I use this little thing where I can put a place a G Fuel tub on it and it spins around. I will link that down below as well. And then in terms of my G Fuel collection, it is absolutely massive. I have so much G Fuel and also I have a lot of extra G Fuel just because I give a lot of it away. So I have a few Tetris boxes, collector's boxes, stuff to give away, cans to give away because I do ship stuff out to people all the time for my members on the channel. Um, and then in terms of the desk or the shelf that my G Fuel is on, that is actually from Target. I will link that down below as well. Uh, but that is a little tiny uh, like shelf desk thingy from uh, Target with these cubbies so you can organize a lot of stuff in little space. I really, really like that. And then of course we got my G Fuel floaty. You know, we gotta have the G Fuel floaty. I've got my YouTube play button over there. I've got my YouTube uh, silver letter that they gave me for hitting 100,000 subscribers. I've got my G Fuel neon sign. Um, and then other than that, I've got another little shelf where I keep some camera equipment. I've got my camera battery charger. I've got a few shock shaker portraits and pictures up on the wall. I do have some wave panels from Elgato that they sent me. I've been trying to figure out where I want to put those, but I will probably make a video on installing those. Um, but other than that, I think, you know, if I have one last look around, um, I do use a SteelSeries keyboard and mouse for the stream PC, and I use this Minbun, I think it's called, label printer for when I'm shipping stuff out to you guys. Uh, so I'll link all that down below as well. Um, and then I'm using another little cubby sorter over here for some packing stuff. Uh, that is something that I use. I got that at Target as well. And then I think that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. I am also using these white uh, blackout like drapes or blinds. I will link these down below as well. I got those on Amazon. They go great with the setup because there is a window there. Um, so I had to black those out somehow. And how I'm getting the neon sign to hang up is by some chains and a command strip hook at the top. I mean, I think that's it. I think that is it in terms of the setup, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, that is my setup in terms of right now. 2021 is about to come to a close and that is my updated setup. So if you guys are looking to buy any of this, I'll link it down below. Use code SHOCK for any discounts on G Fuel. Use code SHOCK for a discount on Respawn products. Use code SHOCK12 for a 12% 12, uh, 12 discount on any of the SteelSeries products in the video. So if you want to pick anything up from SteelSeries.com, you guys can use code SHOCK12 for a discount on that. And thank you guys for using my Amazon link as well down below. I appreciate that. Um, but other than that, I think that is going to be it. Yeah. That's about it, ladies and gentlemen. That is my setup. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful. If there's any questions or anything that you want to know about my setup, go ahead, ask me down below in the description, I mean the comments, or tweet me on Twitter, Snapchat. I'll put all that stuff up on the screen, but hit me up, ladies and gentlemen. I would love to contact you and help you out. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.